Dear students, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. Today we will discuss about the Italy scholarships and these are fully funded scholarships in the Politecnico di Milano and these scholarships are the session 2023 and 2024 and you can study from February 2024. Deadline for this opportunity is 18th of July 2023. Before we discuss about this opportunity and show you the process how to apply for this particular admission as well as scholarship. Let me remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel Full Scholarships and do check out our previous videos that we have pre-made on our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Instagram. Our username is Full Scholarships as you on the screen. And the link for this Italy scholarship in the Polytechnic di Milano is given in the YouTube video description. Check out the link there. Click on the video and check out the video description. Apply link is there. Click on that link and it will take you to this website here. Also, you can check out directly on the Google by visiting our website fullscholarships.net and you can see the same page and once you, read, once you are redirected to this page, you can check this fully funded Italy scholarships in Polytechnic di Milano 2023 and 2024 session is here and you can study free bachelor's masters in Italy and you don't have to pay any fees and this is absolutely having the 80% of the acceptance rate. So if you apply, you have higher more than 80% of the chances to get this and you can check out different benefits and that are available at this scholarship and the, this university the departments that you can complete the degree and the eligibility criteria is just basic and the dates to remind also listed here so there are two deadlines first one is 18th May it's already passed second one is 18th of July so you have enough time to prepare for this application and up till November 2nd you will get the visa with the, with the offer letter. So how is the application process? Simply it's online. Scroll down. At the end you see visit here to apply. Click on this link here and once you click on that you can check the official website Politecnico di Milano and this is the official website and let me zoom out the screen so that you can clearly see this information and you can check deadlines non-EEA students so we for all international students who do, does not belong to Europe can apply for this particular scholarship. So you can check first call is closed second sec, uh, September intake is also closed and now February 2024 intake second semester first call is open right now after that you will get August or September 2024 second first semester call that will be open in the next month so right now it's open and until 18th July you can apply for this so now all the information is here so how to apply let me zoom in the screen at the top you see the login button here so if you see on the phone you can get it through the menu and however if you are on the desktop you can see it on the top so let me zoom out the screen and here you can see on the top there is a login button so simply click on this login button on the top right corner here and once you click on that login button you have to sign up so once you sign up you have to enter the basic details and if you can't see if you can't read this just on the top right there's a flag or the English language icon here you can see click on this it will translate the page in the English so now you can check credentials everything is in the English language and you can check all details and if you are for the first time here just click on the register button here and enter your basic details simply just sign up so here you see you have four steps to complete for the registration, your surname, your name, your gender, your date of birth, your place of birth, country of birth, and your all details should be according to the passport. Then you can simply click continue and complete this form till all the four steps. Once you are done, you will get this type of ID and password that you created in the email. Use the same ID and password, then simply sign in. On the first time, you will see this type of 2FA authentication. So you have to use Google Authenticator app. Just download it on the phone and enable the 2FA authentication and now you see there's a passport, uh, there's a OTP asking. So when you open that Google Authenticator app or 2FA Authenticator app, the passport will password or the OTP will be automatically shown on that app. So each time you uh, up, enter this OTP, it will change after one minute or 30 seconds. So now I have entered and now you see I have uh, successfully accepted this. Now click on the accept it's now going to log in and you see online services website and dashboard is here. So if you 
face issues in the 2FA factor authentication or OTP, just message us or below comment below the video. So now you can see all the details here. And on the right hand side, you can see application forms and check out the application forms there. And you see bachelor's of science application form, apply to master's science application form and doctorate application form, PhD application form, all the application forms are here. Suppose I'll wish to go for the bachelor's of uh, this uh, master's, master's of science or MS and do click on that form that you wish to apply on, on the right side of the dashboard you can check other information now you see you can add or edit the information that you entered in the sign up there is nothing to worry about that and for text code you don't need you just enter the passport details and it will automatically create a text code for you so you can check i have no address entered here so once you complete these documents these uh, simple simple address or the steps you will get full access to the form and simply you can apply for this and if you click on the back button it will take you again to the same application dashboard and where you can fill so let me quickly fill information and show you the next step so once you enter the address this type of form will be there so you can check apply for a new program ay 2023 semester 2 click on this and now before you begin you have some acknowledgements tick this here and click on next and once you do that so enter the education background number of years completed so like you have completed 10 12 13 years so complete that length of the degree so a legal length of the degree university degree so it was four years uh, for the bachelors now click on next and now insert your degree records here and so that you can move to the next so simply you have to complete all the steps mentioned above and wait for the page to load sometimes it takes time and if you are any having any confusions in filling in this form just comment down below the video or just send us the screenshot of the instagram page here our team is here to assist you absolutely free nothing to worry about and we will assist you so let's wait for this page to reload so as you see which university you had suppose state like i'll choose the africa or the ghana and let me show you that So if you had studied in any other country, suppose I'll go this Ghana, then I'll choose the Accra and then you can submit the university name, university address and simply select the university or search from the university. So you can submit. Then click confirm and continue and confirm and continue. So you can select the program what you completed there suppose i completed bachelor's option length of the program title of the program so you can say b and click confirm and now you can see degree is there upload the degree certificates and all data here so once you do that you can uh, complete the next steps and for that let me go back now before you begin educational background simply then select the program, educational language information, upload the documents, other information, personal data and application fee if there is any. So similar green tick should be there on each step before you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and all the steps should be green tick and this type of sky blue, a light blue in the color and you should complete this form and that's it. I hope you have no doubts left. If you have any of the errors in the, any of the steps, just basic program selection select your program for master's degree you wish to study for english proficiency enter c2 upload your mark sheets certificates transcripts other information if you have any sports activities or any defects or any other disadvantages you have or any of the medical uh, certificates you have you can submit that personal processing data if you wish to submit about family information then if there is an application fee for you for your country just submit that and you can submit this application form it's as easy as it seems on the screen I hope you have no doubts left in this application form and in this today's video session. If you have, you can just comment down below the video. And that was the today's video for fully funded Italian scholarships in Politecnico di Milano 2023-2024 session scholarships. And before commenting or messaging, do remember to subscribe and our team is here to assist you. And do check out the link for this scholarship in the video description or directly visit our website fullscholarships.net and cashmendo.com. Keep watching. Have a nice day ahead.